Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a regularly scheduled uh, meeting of the Sunderland Select Board. If we could call to order at 6.30, and we're going to try to be on time tonight because there's a lot going on. Um, our, first, our first orders of business, we're going to talk about the minutes. Pretty easy. We're going to go through the COVID-19 state of emergency update, some uh, comments from the board, our annual town meeting motions, just a, for sanity check. And then we're going to talk about the mechanics of the annual town meeting. It's important to bear in mind our annual town meeting is a little different this year. It's in the afternoon at 4 p.m. here at the town office building in open air in response to our current environment. Also, the town election, please consider voting by mail. It's not too late for that. You can contact the town clerk and the town clerk will send in your app, mail you a ballot, it'll get mailed back and then your vote will count. The annual election, if you need to attend, is 8 to 12 on Saturday the 6th. That precedes our annual town meeting by a couple of hours, and it's at the town library. Again, remember, new location, new time, new-ish process, although we have had one election there, so it's well, been good. Hey, Scott, could I add one, Please. one thing um, about the voting because it's outdoors? The town clerk has has been able to secure uh, cards for us, red, nice. green, and white, so that there's not a problem hearing. It's not a, um, people will be able to hold up a green card for yes, a red card for no, and white card if you have a question. So it, it'll take away, you know, um, who, who, who um, if there happens to be any concerns about that. So I, I thought that was a, a nice addition and, uh, but we do have those cards now. Excellent. Thanks, for, Tom, for the, for the reminder. It is, again, going to be a little bit different. We're going to have to pay attention to the, the nuances. People have got their strategies centered around Daniel Town meeting, sitting with friends. That's not happening. You got to go there, take care of business, participate. Hopefully we do as good a job as is needed to convey the information. That's really important. That's the most important thing. And those tools we hope to continue to employ. At, at, okay. At, and, and Scott, if I could, we're, we're also, they have made uh, provisions for if you're if someone that doesn't get around well, you can just pull up in your car. Yep. Um, they're going to have parking. Um, right, Jeff? I mean, close yep. by. And actually, they could sit in the car. They don't even have to get out of the car if they want. Um, um, I don't think so. I think that there's a designated area for town They're going to make you get out of the car? All right. Well, they're going to make you get out of the car, but you can park, you'll be able to park right next to the stage. So you do not have to, you don't have to go far. Um, so you can, if you're, if you have trouble, if you're handicapped parking or whatever, they're going to have a bunch of areas right up next close to be, um, move us, you know, to get in. So I, I think, um, in that respect, I think Scott, we're we're okay. We're helping out. Good. Uh, is it too early to ask Jeff if you could throw the overview from the top down, the visual again for what town meeting could look like? I would call it in in my world, that would be called the general arrangement drawing. Yeah. I think it's important to bear in mind that it's going to look different. It's going to feel different, but our goal is to have the same uh, quality of experience. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. And hey now. So that's what we're going to look like here. We could arrow down. Thank you. So you can see the Handicap parking that Tom was just mentioning. You can see the tables. A, you know, A, you're going to have a check in space. I'm going to have priority seating for handicap, seniors, people who want to yell really loudly and not use their cards. No, don't do that. You have to use your cards. Um, and then town member meeting seating. Then, of course, a, a, no, a no voting block area, as we have oftentimes people from either other communities or uh, reporters, although they don't come out of the woodwork anymore. So, but that's what our town meeting zones are going to look like. And I think that's an important piece to put up 
Um, and Jeff, I wonder if we couldn't, as a link, if it's possible, have that uh, at the uh, town's website, just so people can understand what it is we're, they're kind of walking into, driving into, et cetera. Absolutely. Great. Okay, let's go to COVID uh, updates, uh, state of emergency. I saw the EMD in there doing fine work. And what's cooking? Not much cooking. I had another um, request from the highway department for some sanitizing spray. We've got that on order through MEMA in Agawam. It'll be ready for pickup tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The MEMA hours have reduced from Tuesdays and Thursdays from nine to three. That's the only time the pod is open now. Mm -hmm. And we have stopped as of last Thursday, our weekly phone call for all EMDs, public health officials. Last Thursday was the last one. Um, I guess they'll do phone calls as needed, but it'll, that was the last one for the big, huge group that's been meeting every Thursday. I so, want to feel. I want to feel good about that. I do too. You, you know, you got. It's, you got to be cautious. Uh, right. People have to be cautious. You know, you still should be re maintaining your social distance, wearing your masks. Um, but things are are slowly getting better. Great. I sure appreciate that. Any uh, questions, Tom or Dave? Uh, uh, EMD Laurie or. That's the, that's the best report I've heard in a week. No, I think, yeah. No yeah. questions here. Mr. Mr. D, Mr. Uh, Chair, if I could, could for one second, I, I just like to remind everybody that, you know, we just need to, we just need to take our precautions, you know, and, and right now, you know, you can get a haircut, um, but when you go in, you have to have an appointment and you have to follow directions of the, uh, the person cutting your hair. Um, we there are some, and and I hope we're gonna we're, we we are going to talk about it tonight. But the board of selectmen, um, with the town administrator, have has written up an executive order for the town that addresses um, restaurants are going to be opened up um, for for outdoor outdoor seating and stuff. Um, and and hopefully we're going to. Uh, discuss about discuss our executive order from the town that allows our restaurants to be creative how they how they serve customers and and maybe generate business for themselves so i mean all all of those things are important but it, it's we, we can't forget i mean most of the things we can do we can do now it, it's having a mask on and and i'll tell you what to go over to Tom's Long Hot Dog to get a hot dog for for dinner on a on a Sunday evening, um, is, it ha was a real treat last night, and and if the only thing you have to do is have a mask on for for five minutes as you stand in line so you can go back to your car and eat your hot dog, I think that's a small small price to pay. So I would say it's inconvenient right now, but let's 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 toe the line for for a while more and and move forward with this. And, and hopefully we can we can get things back opened up. We get people back to work, and and um, we can give science a time to to come up with a with a uh, an inoculation of for the against the virus, and we can move forward. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yeah, great points, Tom. And you know that is a that's a message that uh, should be considered universal. Uh, this notion that uh, we we can simply go from zero back to a year ago um, without being cautious is uh, is a fool's errand. So, okay. What? Thanks. Go ahead. Um, the sign board in the center of town, do you think we could update it to say about the town meeting? Yep. We'll take care of that in the morning. Okay. Great. Hey, thanks so much. Thank you. Okay, uh, minutes of uh, 526. It seems so last week. Motion. Second. So that was a meeting where we got through uh, warrant uh, and motions and 
we'll move on to motions here in a second. And we talked about the annual town meeting logistics and mentioned that uh, in those minutes, uh, the question about weather and the mechanism. So I'll take them. I, I heard a motion and a second. Is there any more discussion on the minutes? If not, all those in favor? Aye. Three to zero, please, Jeff. Uh, we're not being broadcast tonight. People who can't see us on FCAD who are tuned into Channel 12 are looking at Deerfield's annual town meeting wondering, what kind of madness is this? Um, it's it's I think them. It's anything, not Scott. Tell you the truth. <laughs> I, I think they're having some uh, technical difficulties. I see. So maybe they're not saying anything. Regardless, uh, this meeting is being recorded and will be will be hosted. So uh, we'll be able to watch this in the future. Okay. Next up, annual town meeting motions. Jeff, what homework, if any, do we have left on this? We have Article Three. No, not that one. Again, Again? operating budget. Let's do that one. So, what do you want to do with that? Eight four. Peg. Treatment. Free cash three zero one three six five. Yes. And that, that's the sum of the free cash for the operating budget plus the uh, transfer to OPEB trust fund. Okay. Right, 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 right. And that's going to leave us with 190 or just south of 200 in free cash, correct? Correct. Do you want me to pull that up? Yeah, if you wouldn't mind, use of cash would be great. So our numbers add up. We're eight million seven hundred and sixty-three thousand eight hundred and twenty-two dollars. Press the free cash. Yeah, closing balance one ninety-two seven twenty-seven. That was my deep breath right there. Just taking yeah. a deep breath. So subtotal of spending, we get the 181, which is an article. 15 is, a, is the IRS shared responsibility. That's also an article. OPEB. So should that be captured separately? Is that an accounting thing? Because OPEB is in the operating budget. Um, this is how it was set up previous in previous years is my understanding. Okay. Again, if you look down the articles, there's not a standalone article funding OPEB. It's captured in the operating budget. I'm already at the CPA. 15. Okay. I'm sure there's a Brian component to this. If you could clarify that, Jeff, I'd appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, questions about uh, the motion that is uh, three, Tom or David? We have a finance committee recommendation of four to zero. Yep. No, no questions. We, we kind of hammered through all those over the last couple of weeks, so. Okay. Tom, questions, concerns? Well, a lot of concerns, Scott. But uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Again, I, I, I don't, I don't think anybody can enter into this, uh, into this with a good feeling because there, there, there's, there's a lot of uncertainties. So, I, I mean, so if you could, if people have some very direct, pointed questions, I, I'm, you know, especially on like our. Our revenue, the revenue side, Scott. I mean, I think we took everything into consideration, but I mean, we don't really have another choice at the present time except to go with what the numbers that. And I don't think we've been, we. I don't think personally. I don't think that we've been um, real conservative. I think we've been on the estimate estimation have been right down the middle, but. 
I have no idea. Right. If you think about that, our our revenue estimates based on a 20% reduction in state aid for both the general government as well as education, and then a 5% decline in local receipts. And that local receipts, you know, that's a, that's a, uh, that's a solid adjustment in any, any given trend. I think that's probably a little conservative on a, a single year, but who the heck knows in this environment? And if we're wrong in that, those local receipts will replenish next year's free cash. So in that, in that sense, we're not getting after stabilization. We're just using what we've got. Yeah, and and, I, and and Scott, so so I, I I would say that you know, are there questions? Absolutely, there's questions. I don't think there's a lot more that we can do right now. Right. Um, I I would I, I I would have liked to have a little thorough, a little bit more um, partnership with some of our discussions, but it is what it is right now. So. Um, I, I just hope everybody knows is that these numbers are the best numbers that we have at, at this time. And, and that if we get into October, November, December, and, and, and we have a, we, we have a better number and we may, we may have to do something. So. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a, you you raise a really good point Tom from a, a global budget view. We're going to have to recalibrate come the beginning of, some kind of state number that is reality we're going to have to likely adjust to. And then, oh boy, I think I might have to sneeze. That'll sound fun over, over this. Um, and then with the closing, closing out of our own books, you know, what, what comes out the other side. So yeah, we're Absolutely. going to have to recalibrate. No doubt about that. Right. And, and, okay. and so I think we're, we're trying hard, Scott, but look, I mean, you don't know. Right. Okay, so uh, any more discussion? If not, is there a motion to recommend uh, article, I'm sorry, the motion of article three? Motion. Second. We got a motion made and seconded. Uh, this is for a balanced budget as of this time. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I like, I, uh, I like how you put that, Scott. This is a balanced balance budget at this time. Yeah. That's, that's all you can say. That's, that's what it great. is. Unlike great. other years, you know, it's a little open-ended in some ways. A little. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to be okay. generous with that. We could drive a Mack truck through that puppy. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll call that three to zero. I appreciate the discussion. Jeff, that's it for motions, right? We're done. I believe maybe... Do, do, do. Do, I'm looking at him. Look at do, do, do. Um, do, do, I think do. there was. How about four? How about four? I don't see a vote on four. That would be the capital budget. Let me look at the minutes. Hang on. I thought we talked about that last week, Scotty. Yeah, Two I thought we did. I just don't see it on the print. Yep. Well, our minutes should reflect four as being three to zero. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Yep, I did. Yep, nope, no problem. Uh, I, I mean, that's that, that's why we're doing it. This is this is the week of the show. Yep. Okay. And then just a quick review of the remainder. Do, do, do. Uh, CPA. CPA. Okay, I think we got them all. Do, 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 do. Yep, I see three O's on everything else. Well, actually, I see I see one two to one. It was one two to one. Yeah, one of the CPA yep. ones. Yep. Yep. Okay. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, <laughs> next up, um, mechanics. The actual town meeting. Uh, you want to revisit that, Tom and Wendy? Do you want to weigh in? I see your. I see your iPhone there. I, I, I would hope that Tom Clerk would uh, talk about it because I think yep. uh, 
if, if anybody has any questions or, or changes that they'd recommend, I would, I would say, uh, I guess, bring your mosquito repellent. I mean, <laughs> well, I, I, was talk, I was talking to Jonathan today about town meetings and outdoors and stuff, and that was a concern of his. And I said, well, I, I guess I didn't really think about that. But sure. you know, usually mosquitoes are worse around sundown, I thought. So I think if the moderator runs a tight ship, I think we should be all set. That's right. Yep. <clears throat> Wendy, you want to weigh in about the mechanics of it? We have the Jeff. If you wouldn't mind putting the uh, the top down view again, that would be helpful. Well, we are encouraging everybody to bring a mask or a chair. We will have extras if they're needed. Uh, Jim Ewing is going to use the soccer paint to make a grid of seating. Um, that includes that participants to be six feet um, away from others. We're going to make it so that you can have two in a square. So if two people want to sit together that live together, that whatever, um, that will be okay. And then allowances for people walking to the mud in there. Um, we have two people that are going to be washing or cleaning the mics after somebody speaks. But the regular mechanics are, you know, they're going to start parking in the library, um, check in like we always do. Uh, we don't want people congregating around the handout um, area. So people are going to get a packet that will have all the handouts, the motions, and also voting cards. Um, and then they'll be helped to find a place to sit. And while doing this, trying to keep the social distance. Hopefully, uh, mics and everything will work. And those, those packets are available online as well, right? Well, no. We're, it, when you check in, because we're not confined to a space. So people need to check in to get the packet, to get their voting cards and the information. The, the handouts are available online, but not the packets. So okay. if somebody who's not a voter they don't get a packet, so that's how we're going to please non-voters from voting, if that happens. So only voters will get a packet, and only voters will, in within the packet, get the voting cards. Wendy? Hmm. Wendy? Yes. Are you going to have the, the runners deliver the microphones to people? Um, no, um, FCAT, Chris wasn't comfortable with having any of his people be a runner, so we're going to have a microphone like normal in the front and one in the back, and then we'll have um, at each mic someone there to clean it off after somebody talks. I, I, I like that. Thank you. And, and, and you can uh, mark off six-foot... Uh, spacing so people just line up six feet away and when they're time they just walk up to the microphone right right and we're also making allowances within the six feet for traffic walking to the mic so we're Perfect. gonna have like feet in between no that's that's absolutely wonderful that's that's a great way to do it so that we don't yeah. have to have people running around throwing microphones or whatever i like that good thank you yeah it's a big thank you to jim ewing for yeah. We're doing that. Uh, the pavement is going to have handicapped, elderly, able to sit, um, stay on the pavement and park behind the head tables, uh, you know, by the buildings. So um, that should be easy too. Okay. Town clerk, I appreciate that. 
I like I like uh, having the um, general arrangement or the top down looking at it uh, while we go through this. People can kind of get a visual about well, what does it mean to park and walk to check in? Where are the tables going to end up being? How does this actually work? Um, it's a good visual to have up while this conversation uh, goes on. Could I ask the question of take the temperature of the group about how we go about a weather cancellation? Uh, well, weather cancellation, we would do like we have in previous, well, one other time that I know of, um, that the moderator, town clerk, the selectmen, and anybody else, I think we did have a member of the public when it was a snowstorm, will meet at four o'clock at the town office building and postpone to another date. Um, there's nothing stopping the selectmen from um, announcing the other date earlier. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I suppose um, you would have to do the actual postponement on the 6th. OK, great. Um, so if we, if we know, if we really have a strong sense on uh, Friday morning that Saturday is just going to be a wash, we can, we can so send out send out notice that our intention is blank. We're going to meet and we're going to announce another date. I, I think um, you can send out, you could send out a connect CTY saying, you know, it looks like, yep. but we'll decide Saturday morning. Okay. Great. I mean, we could do all of it on Saturday morning. People can look out the door and go, well, yeah. <laughs> I think um, when we first started talking about it, um, you had mentioned that you would do it, you know, Saturday morning earlier in the day mm -hmm. so that people could plan from there. Yep. And then it makes it a little bit easier to pick your date according right. to the web. So regardless, the decision-making, of course, it's a moderator's meeting recorded by the town clerk, posted uh, by the town clerk with a warrant developed by the select board. That said, uh, that's, that's the brain trust that can go about postponing to a date certain. It's, it's the simplest way to do it. Great. Okay. Right. Tom, Tom the David. is looking good, so. Yeah, the, the weather's looking good right now, so we'll keep our fingers crossed. There you go. I had, I had to ask. It's one of those yep. things. No, it's like it bug. Sense. It's like bug repellent. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Tom Clark. Uh, Tom Clark. Yes. Are people supposed to bring their own chairs? We um, are encouraging people to bring their own chairs. Okay. We will have we will have some chairs um, there in case somebody does it. We'll also have masks, gloves sanitizer, um, whatever people choose if um, they don't bring their own. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Anything else you want to warn the public about, Wendy? Um, no, the only thing is I was talking to Jeff and we got um, had to end our conversation is on Article 2 with the uh, COLA was included um, now on my salary because that's not, um, if, if the COLA state, it should be down to 44,000 something, the salary. Oh, that needs so to be like adjusted. I said, Jeff, Jeff and I didn't finish our conversation. Well, Tom Clark? Yeah. Um, aren't you gonna be like everybody else in town? And that that the, the money is going to be uh, there, and then if you uh, if we meet our numbers, do you, we'll get that money in the back. I so put it, I, I put it in that longevity account thing, but I took it out of Article Two because if you vote in Article Two, then you have to pay it. This way, if you take it out of Article Two and into a budget line, then it can be held off and not used until there's an okay given. And that will keep me in line with everyone else. 
Because the logist okay. the logist the mechanics of Article Two are elected officials, and once that's voted, that's voted. Right. By, put, yeah, by yeah. putting it in the by putting it in the budget, you can, Tom. To your point, it's it's cleaner to allow it in article have the number in Article Two drop down, and have the appropriation in the re regular budget. Right. Right, and then I I can be just like everyone else. Okay. So Jeff, you can work out the the machinations in that. Yeah, yep. I think he, he already did. Yep, yep, I see so it right there. Forty four one seven five. Great. Okay. All right. So that's that's a mechanic. I could just say a quick thing about elections. Mm, please. Um, that <clears throat> they're eight to noon on the sixth at the library. We are only going to allow two voters at a time to vote and so th if a lot of people choose to vote there could be a long line but this is the safest possible way to um, proceed with with voting it's also one of those things where if somebody is sick and somebody does show up we are not able to turn them away you know they have the right to vote so mm -hmm we need to keep the space as um, limited as possible. So it's gonna be the same voting experience, just um, only two booths and um, you, may have to, you may have to wait. So how has been the demand for the mail-in ballots? Uh, that has um, actually, I think we have triple the amount of people that voted that would have probably voted if it was everything was normal and at the school nice good so. and so how do people do that again and is there a cutoff right when's the last when's the last day to actually petition the town clerk for a mail-in ballot um well i i would say it's it's getting late i am willing um to do it outside because I, I need to get the uh, application and then I mail it out and they have to get it back to me by yep. Saturday now is tough. So yep. if yep. somebody really wants to vote, I would contact me at 665-1442 and um, they can do early voting um, at, the, uh, at the town offices, but outside. Got it. Okay, so again, another mechanism for participating in the annual election. Uh, it sounds like it is just getting a little late to send the application in, do the transfer, mail the ballot, return the ballot, and have the ballot counted. Uh, if you have any questions, again, contact the town clerk at 665-1442 uh, and, you know, Thanks, uh, town clerk and staff for going to the extraordinary steps to keeping our elections free and fair. Okay, after mechanics of town meeting, next up, select board updates. Uh, the only update I have is uh, we'll be starting Friday at four o'clock, uh, some meetings for Union 38 negotiations. We have a pre-meeting then, so. That nice. process will be kicking back up again. It never really ended, did it? Yeah, no. Just sort of had a hiatus. Right, right. Tom, anything you want to weigh in on? Um, Mr. Chair, if I could please. Um, I just like to comment about what happened in Minneapolis. And I, I, I read a lot and, and um, listened a lot. And I, I believe um, uh, uh, many people um, are saying that we need to speak up and, 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 and make our opinion known. And, and I would like to, to speak up and let my opinion know is that I, 
I, I think um, it's impossible for me to know um, what others think or how they're approached or how they're judged. Um, I, I do know that for us to move forward, um, now is probably a good time, it should have been a long time ago, is that we take a, a, a time to listen to what we're being told and not judge by judge what people are telling us, but to take it to heart and to try to and try to understand what we're being told. So I think listening right now um, in solidarity with those um, is very important. Um, and I I think that we all need to commit um, to the values that we all hold dear to ourselves um, and not, not to be afraid to do the right thing. And sometimes doing the right thing is, as we have talked in the past, doing the right thing is, uh, should be the hardest or should be the easiest thing to do, but sometimes is actually the hardest thing to do. So I would, I would, I would, I'm, I'm going to redouble my efforts and, and to try to listen and try to understand and not to judge others um, and put words in to my thoughts. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thanks, Tom. David, you want to make any comments along that line? If not. No, I'm all set. Thanks. Okay. Uh, I also have no updates uh, with that. I move on with um, well, actually, you know, I do have updates. I've been twisted in knots for uh, for weeks with respect to the accumulation of uh, our isolation, uh, the economic impact on our local as well as state and national economies, uh, the impact on people's lives. And um, last week's, last week's uh, events just, just was not just reprehensible, but, but I hope we can't, I, I just hope we don't go any lower. It's just that easy. Where we need clear leadership, uh, it ain't happening. And where we need community, uh, we're fighting. That's a bad place to be. And I hope we get out of it soon enough. And I hope we're, we move forward. That's all. Thanks. Jeff, uh, any updates? Um, two things. One is um, there was- Jeff a sighting? Is there going to be a Jeff sighting? <laughs> There is going to be a Jeff sighting. I, I am nice. in the office Monday, if not earlier, depending on, on how much uh, we need to get done for town meeting. Well, okay. I'll, I'll see you Saturday at the very early, uh, latest. Very good. Uh, there, there, there was an updated agenda. Um, we need to appoint uh, two election workers. I um, hope you received that. It's um, Molly Wickline and Catherine Hand. Okay. Um, motion. motion, Mr. Chair. Second. We have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor of the appointments? Aye. 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 Three to zero, please. See how easy that was, Jeff? Easy. I like it. Article three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then uh, the application for uh, the municipal funds from the CARE Act are due Friday. Um, mm -hmm. I, I had uh, sent a spreadsheet. I think it needs to be completed by the CEO of the town, which would be the select board, obviously. So I just wanted to quickly touch base and see how you wanted to handle that. If, if you were comfortable with me submitting the information that I had sent you or um, you wanted to do that yourselves. 
So there's been no change in the original framework, either in the process or the content of our application. Is that correct? Still in that 38,000 range? Uh, no. So I, I had sent a couple updates, I think one on Friday and then one this morning. We are now up to close to 70,000. We got the information from the schools, um, which included... Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, a, a bunch of Chromebooks, a uh, spraying machine and disinfectant mm -hmm. um, for both the elementary school and then Sunderland's share for uh, Frontier as Frontier. well. That makes sense. Put it all into one application. Absolutely yes. right. Yep. Um, Tom, David, concerns about bundling that and going in with one application? Uh, absolutely not, Scott. I, I was... I was... I was looking at the, 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 the list um, Jeff had put together for us, and um, I, I was, I was going to ask about a couple things, but it looks like he, he has them in here. So, Jeff, nice job. There were there a couple questions I was, but it looks like uh, we're all set. I just wanted to make sure that we had, you, you know, if I could, I see Wendy's still there. What do we what did we have scheduled for the bathrooms for, for town meeting? What, what were you planning on doing? Uh, Scott actually came up with a great idea of having Sandy mm -hmm. hands and Cindy got a handicapped one and a regular one. That will be against the building where that little shed is in the okay. back. Um would would Okay, I, I, I was just wondering, should, would, would we consider um, having um, talk to the people that usually do the cleaning and, and have them um, available to clean between uses or, or would that be better to have the town hall, have them clean the town hall after use? What, what do you think? I, and again, I'm just trying to. In, in our, are we also going to have a, a hand washed uh, hand wash station also with the sandy cans? Yeah. Well, we're we're going to have them throughout the place. Um, I don't know if Cindy's on here, but I know usually they have paper for the toilet seat and they have um, sanitizer in them, so right. we can work on maybe getting something a little bit more on the outside yeah I, I i've seen i've seen it maybe if we could talk to the uh, place that uh, doing it i've seen that and, and again from my barbecue kcbs competitions right dave um <laughs> we we we've gone and they usually have portable uh hand washing things also that that right we we may consider asking if they have that i i again I, I just know if you talk to some people, they feel very comfortable washing their hands with water and soap. So, I mean, it's not hot water, but it's, it's soap and water. So that would be, we, we may, we may, if you could maybe check on that, if you could tomorrow. Yep. Also. I'll talk to Cindy and um, I, she probably has the answers to all these too. Yeah, so we'll let you know. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Jeff. Anything else? No. That, that so we're gonna all. we're gonna sign the cares. Is there a signature page here for us? There is not. I'll just um, include it in your packet. Is, is the application information? I'll just put yep. my information in there as, as the point of contact and my email. And um, very good. So this is not procurement. So you're legit. Good job. It's not <laughs> so so Jeff, if I could ask, uh, did you talk to? Did you did you review all this with our department heads do it with uh, with Ben at the school and and George and Wendy and Board of Health and our EMD and fire chief police chief they're all they're all on board right Yes we discussed this at the last uh, couple of department heads meetings um, and and reached out through the uh, through Cindy to to the Board of Health and and they felt pretty comfortable with where they were for fiscal year 20 spending aside from uh, remote capabilities. Good. Thank you, Jeff. All right. Uh, public comment. I see some school committee members hanging in there. 
just checking in or you want to say anything? Hey, hey Scott. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter, um, actually, I got a question about something not at all to do with the school. It's about what I think is Article 5 on the warrant. The, the sheet you've got posted on the town website needs to be renumbered because it's got a couple extras in there. There you go. Jeff, can you handle that the in the morning? Yeah. Is, is that about the IRS, Peter? Yeah. Okay. And I guess I just, I've heard it mentioned a couple of times, but I've never had the slightest sense of what was really going on. And usually I'm concerned with something like that is to, number one, if we're being asked to pay for something, are we the actual people that should be paying for it as opposed to, for example, our insurance agent? Um, and number two, if we are paying for it, are we, uh, is there any possibility it's going to come back in, a, in another year and hit us again? And therefore, should we be doing something to forestall that? Boy, that's a softball one question, question mm. Scott, for you. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so Peter and, and even one more which is usually knowing the way the IRS works what fiscal year or what calendar year or fiscal year I'm not sure which they're using here uh, does this apply to because often you get stuff in the IRS and it's a year or two or three after the year in question uh, this one's a year in the rears I can answer that yeah. uh, we did we did fight uh, with the IRS and uh, this is a little less than half of what they were actually asking for and the catalyst for this is that the town's health insurance plan, as has some other municipalities, as well as entire states, been deemed uh, not affordable by the IRS. And so this was a penalty that they were applying to towns as well as states. Um, we, 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 you know, on pure principle, um, you know, it's like, it's like riding that, it's like riding that bike way too long with, with the wrong pants on. It's just really irritating. Um, what a that's, visual, oh, there's an analogy. Wow. Well, hey, it just is <laughs> what it a, is. That's right? a visual, Scott. It's just yeah. the way it is. So Peter, one of the things, a couple of things. So it's a penalty and we believe we have an agreement and they understand in our plan uh, that we, we should not expect this to be returning. That said, the board had active discussions prior to um, all of this um, avalanche of stuff that we're dealing with, not the board, but as, as a nation. Uh, and that was to actually uh, increase our percentage of con town contribution by another 5%. Um, that wasn't huge money, but that would have made this problem go away forever and ever and ever. And this has to do with, um, plans that are for staff uh, who are, who are um, lower on the income scale. So that's where that's from. Uh, we don't expect it to be back. We did fight it. We hoped that we'd hope to never see it. Uh, and it is a penalty that does need to be paid uh, this year for last year. But when you say you hope you don't see it again, I mean, there's, real solid reason to believe that. I mean, because we haven't, you know, we haven't, up, we're not upping the percentage and I don't know. I, that's, that's my main concern is that it that sure. not just, it's going to be coming back at us. Yep. And we're working toward making, we're making, we are working to ensure that it doesn't come back at us. Uh, that's why we turn the lawyers loose on it first and foremost. Okay. Thanks. I just figured better ask here than trying yep. to ask on Saturday. Oh, I'm going to have, I'm going to get just as wound up, Saturday too, because <laughs> it's like the DEP penalizing us over the, you know, the, the damned dump where somebody built a house near the bounds, which is perfectly fine in the A and R. And then, you know, we get dinged Tom, oh. we're in the, we're in the twenties then. I think we got it down to five, right? No, Scott, you missed one important part. It oh, was we closed it by their guidelines and with their stamp of approval. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't even a law yet. It wasn't right, on the right. books. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's, I remember that. That's right. It was. Yeah. It was not. It wasn't codified yet. It, right. It wasn't. It was two years from being a law, but they said it's going to be a law, right. so we can find you. And, and yeah. The other thing while I'm here is the stuff that Jeff was talking about for the CARES Act, the filing of uh, our request for uh, money. I guess on that. Um, is there any sense as to, 
what time frame anybody might be thinking about for something like that to happen? That may I mean, be is a it more be three years or is it going to be three months? That, that's probably a Richie Neal question or a Jim McGovern question yeah. before anything but that, else. But that money's already been appropriated and... and I believe the states have it. My understanding is they're asking us to apply only for fiscal year 20 expenses. Um, what we've been told is they're going to be reviewing applications as they come in and they've already been open. So I'd imagine they've already done some of that. Um, but they also are planning on having a fiscal year 21 uh, round of applications. And I can't imagine that they would be able to start that until they've completed the fiscal year 20. So um, yeah. I, I don't, I can't promise it's not going to roll into fiscal year 21 by the time the funds actually come through. But, but my impression from the state is that they're going to try to get the money out quickly. Right. I mean, it's not a case where we're dealing with FEMA in Washington um, because right. the state already has the money, right? Yes, but certain items that are eligible for re FEMA reimbursement, uh, they're only going to give us 25% of those costs, and oh. they expect us to apply for the other 75% reimbursement from FEMA. So right. depending on what those costs are, it, it may be a longer process to get the full 100% back. And when funds do arrive, there'll be a process for giving the various departments access to those funds. Um, I, got, I, I don't know how you're planning, how you, how you might be thinking about doing that. So I, I don't think there is going to be a disbursement of funds. I think there's going to be some of the funds will go for PPE and cleaning supplies that have already been furnished. Um, I think the idea is that the money is going to go into the COVID-19 emergency spending account. Mm -hmm. um, and which, by the way, that should have been another one of my updates. We did get approval for deficit spending related to COVID-19. Um, oh, thank you. And then based on that list, we're going to purchase the equipment that we had, the services for cleaning, et cetera. Uh, keep track of those invoices and receipts, which we will have to report to the state and, and to FEMA for reimbursement. Um, but I think it's going to be kept to, to that. So there isn't just going to be uh, handing out money to... Right. No, I assume it's, it's largely a bookkeeping exercise. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Great. Thanks, Peter. Any other public comment? If not... This group gets together a week from today, the 8th, and that's going to be here. It's going to be at 6.30. It's going to be our post-election, post-town meeting meeting. So we'll have a relatively light agenda, maybe 30, 35, 40 things to talk about. And then uh, our reorganizing will be the first order of business. So, uh, again, annual town meeting and elections are both this coming Saturday, the 6th. Elections are from 8 to 12 at the town library. You heard the clerk tonight saying that because of spacing, we're going to keep it to two people at a time voting. So uh, there could be a wait, and that's important to bear in mind. For those who participated in the mail-in uh, process for this year's election, thank you. It sounds like it was well-received. Um, if you think you still want to vote prior to the election day, and that's entirely possible. The town clerk says you could give her a call at 665-1442. Again, this building is still closed, but there may be an opportunity to meet outdoors, cast your ballot, just like a regular absentee ballot does, um, and, or early, early voting ballot does, and then uh, it'll be counted on Saturday. Our town meeting is at four, and uh, it's out back. You saw the the floor plan. That's the word I've been looking for all night. Floor plan. Mr. And Scott, inside Scott. Yep. Yep. Can you tell, can you tell people where they're going to supposed to park? Yep. So we're starting in the library parking lot. We don't want to crowd back here behind the building. Uh, we're holding this out for senior and handicapped. And it's a limited number of parking spaces because we're going to have tables and space for people to check in and focus at the library first and if that's full, there's parking on School Street, 
obviously. You can walk through the beautiful Veterans Memorial. Uh, and then the last places to park would be out behind the behind the uh, town office building. Again, we're trying to hold that for uh, handicapped and seniors, okay? That starts at 4, uh, and we'll go until at least 410. Now, it'll, it's going to go a little while. It's a, still, it's a, full, it's a full warrant. So bring your chairs and uh, gloves, masks, hand sanitizer, uh, and then we will uh, see you on Saturday. Okay. Any other discussion? If not, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion, Scott. Second. I hear a motion and a second. All those in favor of adjourning, signify by saying aye. 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 All right. You call us out at 725. Thanks, everybody. Stay safe. <laughs>